दो मिनट पहले आए इस बार लेकिन फिर भी लेट 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 शर्म नहीं आती लोगों को टेक्निकली वो लोग किस टेक्निकलिटी में छुप रहे हैं पता है कि हम लोग आठ बज के पांच मिनट का अच्छा, टाइम अच्छा, अच्छा, टाइम होता है चालू करने का तो वो बोलते हैं आठ बजे करो आठ बजे करो अच्छा इसलिए लेट टेक्निकली वो लोग गेम समझ गए टेक्निकली ये लोग रॉन्ग है बट गेम समझ गए लोग हमारा अभिजीत आ रहा है थोड़ा देर से आएगा ऑब्वियसली आप लोग समझते हो ना उसको थोड़ा टट्टी कर रहा है हाँ टट्टी कर रहा है तैयार वगैरह भी होने हैं सर को अरे ये क्या हो गया फार राइट हिंदुत्व फार राइट हिंदुत्व तो टाइम पे आ गया बिल्कुल ओह माय गुडनेस अबे थोड़ा लेफ्ट शिफ्ट हो शिफ्ट राइट शिफ्ट राइट ये वाला क्यों रख रहा है वो बड़े वाला रखना बड़े वाला रखू हाँ ये वाले में मजा नहीं आता ऐसा लगता है कि हम लोग बहुत मोटे हैं <laughs> तो ठीक है ना अभिजीत को अकेला नहीं फील होगा नहीं ना तो ऐसे थड़ना होता है अभिजीत मोटा होना होता। मैं क्यों हूँ मैं तो एकदम फिट फाट आदमी सही बात है सही बात है और अरे फार राइट हिंदुत्व आइडियोलॉग एज एज मैं टाइम्स ना तेरे को फार राइट बोल रहा है <laughs> the best part so, is we can actually call those fuckers at times now and tell like kya ye <laughs> so so I, i the people might not know but uh, abhijit is a far right hindutva ideologue according yes. to the great journalists at uh, al jazeera and many internet twitter journalists as well far right homosexual far right homosexual yes hindutva <laughs> homosexual bit they all skip that part that's true <laughs> they they, they forgot how gay abhijit is <laughs> i know i know it is funny it is funny that in any other circumstance homosexual would probably the first thing they would describe him as but mm. in this particular circumstance he gayab ho gaya acha ye nahi nahi wo nahi use kar sakte is bahut hi koi important kushal aap kaun se bhutiya ghar mein अरे मैंने पूरा रूम डार्क किया ताकि वो लाइट का फोकस अच्छा आता है <laughs> <laughs> तो जस्ट बिकॉज अभिजीत मेट एन अमेरिकन पॉलिटिशियन ही इज बीन डिक्लेयर्ड अ फार राइट हिंदुत्व आइडियोलॉग वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग आई वाज थिंकिंग व्हाई एम वाज नॉट काउंटरिंग देम विद गे पॉइंट बॉस आई डोंट यूज माय सेक्सुअलिटी एज अ डिफेंस यस ओके दे डू दैट्स द डिफरेंस Yeah. because yeah. they weak little shits they them putting their penis into another boy's rectum is the only identifier <laughs> they have of their identity it's the only sense of self worth it's not my only sense of self worth right. so i'm sorry i i'm just not going to play that card full stop i also was a little bit surprised abhiji that they didn't mention that you were a, you were also white so that qualifies you to be a white supremacist as well Along with being a far right वो तो मैंने कल प्रूव किया था ना कल मेरी और अभिजीत की डिस्कशन में मैंने वो तो प्रूव किया था ना कल तो दे दे फॉरगॉट टू मेंशन दैट दिस इज अ फार राइट वाइट सुप्रीमेसिस्ट होमोसेक्सुअल हिंदुत्व आइडियोलॉजी दे दे मिस्ड आउट अ कपल ऑफ इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट्स देयर इफ इफ यू गो टू माय ट्विटर बायो इट क्लियरली सेज एन इंग्लिशमैन लिविंग इन इंडिया टू सिविलाइज द नेटिव्स देयर ऑन माय What, what, what would what, what do you think Abhijit's English name would be if he was an Englishman? What would Abhijit Ayer Mitra's English name would be? I told you, Lady Mildred Tickly Bottom. <laughs> Tickly Bottom. Tickly Bottom. I mean, like good good guard. Mildred Tickly Bottom. I like that one. I like that one. Yeah. Any relation to Neville Longbottom from Harry no. Potter? No. 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 Tickly See, Bottom is a completely really, different house. I am G C M G O B E. ये क्या होता है बे जीसीएमजी जीसीएमजी ऑर्डर ऑफ गाटर का हाईएस्ट एशलॉन इट्स समटाइम्स ट्रांसलेटेड इनटू गॉड कॉल्स मी गॉड एंड ओबीई ऑर्डर ऑफ द ब्रिटिश एम्पायर ओबीई आई नो आई डिट नो व्हाट जीसीएमजी वाज साउंड्स लाइक अ द क्रॉस एग्जाम नहीं देते ट्वेल्थ में जीसीएसई आई थिंक इट्स कॉल्ड द ग्रैंड क्रॉस ऑफ जॉर्ज एंड माइकल जीसी हां ग्रैंड क्रॉस ऑफ जॉर्ज एंड माइकल Oh. Is that what you get when you get knighted? Yeah, uh, no, that's the absolute highest in the entire knighthood scheme. Acha. 
So the GCSE is the highest or the knighthood thing is the highest? GCMG is the highest. GCSE. You guys are seriously fucking discussing this bullshit. I mean, what the fuck? He uses the curious, same man. thing and you guys are like fucking discussing it. Shame on both of you. It's, just, yeah, it's, it's very important, no? It's very, it's very important. important. And especially because Al Jazeera, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, if a respectable organization like Al Jazeera uh mentions abhijit as a far right hindutva ideologue that we call abhijit out on his far right tendencies mm. because if al jazeera said it it must be true yes yeah <laughs> and up to times now maybe keh diya ye best hai abhijit shared fair and lovely tears with rohkana <laughs> is also true <laughs> ट्विटर पे हमारे साथ शेयर करो यूज जस्ट द फोटो ऑफ रो करना है नबजीत एंड प्ले दैट क्लिप अंडर नीथ द फोटो डू इट डू इट आज बना दिया तो आज कर लेंगे ना ना अगले हफ्ते विल प्ले ऑन द मीम डू इट या बट नाउ दैट यू आर हियर आई आई अ कपल ऑफ थिंग्स आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट बट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद समथिंग दैट कुशल एक्चुअली मेंशन दैट वी शुड स्टार्ट विद सो लेट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दैट बिकॉज आई नो यू वांटेड टू टॉक अबाउट यू नो रिसेंटली इन इन पाकिस्तान शॉकिंगली इन द टॉलरेंट नेशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान uh there was where some... minorities are extremely safe where minorities are extremely safe obviously and uh, no human rights abuses have ever occurred on the Everything pure land of pakistan 1000 times better than india 1000 times better than india um and essentially it's the same playbook that they've used over and over again where yeah. somebody was accused of blasphemy they did they, they did no blasphemy they were accused of blasphemy in using that list of 21 churches I set up in pakistan's punjab province after the alleged accusations of blasphemy pastor salim arif sahib's aac church isa nagri pastor rizwan sahib's church has been completely burned pastor adnan michael gangdam church of the uh, dam of the church major mashuk sahib's church has been completely burned luni of the catholic church nasir pastor isa ail's church press baptist church maharwala mai bol bol ke thak gaya 21 churches jalai hain कुछ हुई भी नहीं है ऑन एन एक्शन ऑफ ब्लैसमी कुछ भी नहीं बोला उस बंदे ने सो ऑन एन एक्शन ऑफ ब्लैसमी ना दिस इज ऑब्वियसली यू नो इट इज दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू मेक अल जजीराज हेडलाइन अल जजीरा विल फोकस ऑन फार राइट हिंदुत्व आइडियोलॉग मीटिंग रो खन्ना इन एन इनोक्यूज मीटिंग बट अल जजीरा डजन गिव अट अबाउट द ट्वेंटी वन चर्च दैट वर बर्न Mm. uh other christians that have been murdered or killed or jailed in the name of blasphemy things like that us pe obviously focus nahi hoga can i mention another point as well i i don't know where you wanted to go with this kushal but why don't you first start and then i i really want to bring up one point as well yeah my whole thing was that every time i see an incident like this i i get so mad at the bjp i get so mad at the bjp for not passing the citizenship amendment bill first of all the bjp got the caa that was like a toota hua caa because it had yeah. a cut off uh, date till 2014 point number 2 the bjp should not have clubbed the caa with the nrc i am 100% with our friend nikhil mehra on that one the nrc was a ridiculous idea it should not have been done the bjp should have gotten a caa that caa should have clearly said inside the bill that india that is bharat or bharat that is india jisko jo bolna hai bolo is a civilizational state and it has a moral responsibility considering its past up towards the minorities of the subcontinent out especially in afghanistan pakistan uh, and uh, bangladesh in this case most of them hindu sikh and in some cases atheists and christians ahmadiyas why no my reasons are not that they supported the pakistan movement my reasons are very simple 
Ahmadiyas as per Indian law are considered Muslims. Yeah. Indian legislation cannot be made as per bigoted Pakistan legislations. Now it's the for the Ahmadiyas, if they want to be considered to come into India, they are more than welcome to convert to Christianity uh, if they think Christianity is good. I would yeah. prefer them to convert to Hinduism or become atheists and they can come to India. Ahmadiyya yeah. should convert. So this this should have been the stated position of the government of uh, of the day from day one. They did not. They they did what they do do. And look what a community did in the past should not be held against them. I don't hold hold that against the Ahmadiyas either. But my point is simple: laws and legislations are not based on emotions. Right. Other, for example, a lot of people are saying the CAA should be only about Hindus or people from Dharmic Panth or Dharmic faith. Uh, as much as I uh, appreciate the emotions and the rhetoric that is always uh, a, a sine qua non, jo bhi bolte hai, usko, of hmm. the Hindu side of India, I don't give a fuck about any of that. I give a fuck about policies that can be passed. I give a fuck about policies that will be upheld in the Supreme Court of India. You try making laws like this, the Supreme Court will reject it. Yeah. The Supreme Court will reject it. So if you want to fight a losing battle, be my guest. I want to fight winning battles in mm. the realm of policy. The policy should have been clear. The Ahmadiyya case would have been made that they are considered Muslims in India. So they don't qualify for a CA. Everybody and anybody else does qualify for the CAA. They can be gotten. Usme the government can always give preference to Hindus first in yeah. applications. I am talking about law. I am talking about law. But the law has to be crystal clear. The law cannot state because it will be rejected in the Indian Supreme Court. And no matter how over emotional Hindus are when they faff on social media, I don't give a fuck about their emotions. I give right. a fuck about the Hindus of Pakistan and I want to get them here. That's what I care about. And I'm finding the best legal way possible. And I've spoken to lawyers who told me that Supreme Court reject kar degi agar tum bologe, sirif dharmik faith wale aayenge, Supreme Court allow nahi karegi usse. <coughs> right. Yeah, that's true. On another point that I do want to make is that I watched a couple of interviews uh, after the event, you know, this, this whole thing happened as well. And uh, it is, you know, it, it's a cruel twist of irony, I suppose, um, where, you know, you had the Christians and you had the Ahmadiyas that had voted to separate from India uh, on the fact. And I, I agree with you, Kay, you know, don't blame today's people for whatever their ancestors did, because that's a terrible road to go down. Completely agree. But also at the same time, you know, you can understand a level of hatred that you have for the pagans when you would rather side with somebody that you have a pretty good idea is not going to be good to you. You have a fair I know you're idea. talking about the Pakistani army brigadier's wife talking about Indians is Christians not being safe in India. Now they're not yeah. safe in Pakistan. And Listen, that, that and Abhijit also... has met many Pakistanis. You right. know, okay. How many Pakistanis do Abhijit and I know who are closeted atheists who will never disclose that? How many yeah. Abhijit and I know at a personal level? But does it matter? Does it matter if they're closeted atheists? No, I'm saying, does it matter that they're closet atheists if they're still fundamentally deeply anti-Hindu? Does it matter to but, us? Uh, do you think they don't posture? You really think they don't posture? How many Pakistanis have we spoken to off the record who say... Are you know, the thing is... Uh, people aren't even ashamed to use a Pakistani's atheism against them because they know the moment they're exposed as atheists, they'll be lynched back home. Hmm. So you remember, this is what Christine Fair did to Asra Nomani. Yes. Yes, Asra Nomani yes, is an atheist. And Christine went around calling her because she didn't win an argument with Asra. She yes. typical what she does. She started going around calling her an atheist, atheist, knowing full well what what the consequences for Asra back home would be. Yeah. So remember, this is a very common thing. Well, luckily, she's an Indian Muslim, so hopefully she'll be all right. Huh? Luckily, she's an Indian Muslim, so hopefully she'll be all right. Asra? No, she's Pakistani. Is, it, is she not an Indian Muslim? Asra Nomani oh, is Indian Muslim. Okay. Parents from uh, Mumbai. Asra Nomani. Oh, that's right. She was with Daniel Pearl in Karachi or something, right? Yeah, but she's oh, an Indian right, Muslim. Maybe I'll she's think of something Muslim else. Muslim from India. She's not a Pakistani. Okay. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Is she an Indian or not? <laughs> Mumbai I'm confused. Uska baap. 
पाकिस्तान से नहीं है बे असरा नुमानी इज इंडियन समी सेंग इन इन द चैट क्या बोल रहा है यार मुंबई से उसका बापू शी वाज इन पाकिस्तान विद डैनियल पर्ल आई रिमेंबर दैट अरे वो सिर्फ पाकिस्तान गई थी अजीत वो डैनियल पर्ल के साथ क्योंकि वो अमेरिकन है इसके लिए इंडियन ओरिजिन है उसका शी इज ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन क्या बोल रहा है यार I remember that. Yeah. Yes. Now she is now living in fear about what happens to her. Right. Of course, the accusations of atheism now are nobody wants to talk about it, but that's how uh, these societies function. Yeah. And what Christine did to win an argument, uh, others do very easily for property or whatever is required. Yeah. I mean, you remember that girl who got lynched in front of the cameras in Afghanistan? You remember in seven, eight years back in Kabul? Yes, 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 yes. It was because the mullah at that mosque had sold her an amulet, saying this would cure your marital problems. Oh. She then went to the mullah and said, "Ye tera amulet bhagwas hai, kuch nahi kar raha hai, tu fraud hai. Mere ko paisa wapas kar." He obviously didn't want to give the money back, and he didn't want to be exposed as a fraud that his amulet doesn't work. So right. he said, she "Insulted the Quran and this and that," and then they immediately lynched her. Wow. Okay, yeah. the way this works, and rural India is also like this. Don't forget, you want to get at somebody, you just start off a rumor. Yeah. so it is similar and it is different either gai ka rumor start karo here the problem with the gai ka rumors is that it is a fundamental vulnerability economic vulnerability issue where uh, uh, farmers that one cow is their protein security it is their food security it is their farm labor it is their house building construction material everything and it was constantly stolen from them okay by these transporter networks now the way this works is in america there is a de facto ban on horse meat mm. okay but not a de jure ban on horse meat just okay. like in india where the consumption of beef is legal so let me explain this to you in india consuming beef is perfectly legal but the slaughter of a cow the storage and transport of a cow is illegal mm. now how eat without storing and ki- killing storing and transporting yeah. you can okay in america they've done the same to horse meat you can serve horse meat as long as it's regulated but uh, congress never passed regulations and they never authorized funding for regulator training so effectively there is a de facto ban on horse meat in america the same way there is a de facto ban on cow meat the difference is american rural americans do not de- depend on horse for horse shit horse milk horse cheese horse paneer whatever yeah. uh, or uh, 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 for their protein for their uh, uh, farm labor etc etc here they do right now it is unlike horse meat which is not a much consumed meat uh, uh, beef is the meat what it was an absolutely ghatiya meat meant for absolutely poor people because the only time a cow would be eaten was when it dropped dead by the side of the road or was close to dropping dead which is why beef is the cheapest meat you can find in india okay it's from old dead almost dying cattle pretty much okay i've seen temples that will sell their old cow to a muslim butcher knowing full well exactly what's going to happen oh wow uh, oh yeah, yeah yeah it happens very common it, it's all oh. done wink wink nudge nudge Wink, wink, wow. nudge, nudge. Now, the problem is this is like prohibition. Al Capone yeah. and people came about; they were products of prohibition. Right. Okay. So when you make something illegal, instead of regulating it, bringing it to the surface and regulating it, you create crime networks, and those crime networks, crime is fungible. A dope dealer will always agree to deal crystal or arms or whatever, depending on what is available. Same thing happens out here. So what used to happen was every time cows weren't available, they'd go to villages steal, and that family would lose everything, because in India that is your labor in the field. Mm. The cow dung is what you use to fuel your kitchen. Even when the cow is not giving milk, it can do farm work. It can uh, shit, and you use the shit for fuel. It can uh, uh, even when it is not producing milk, the cow dung it can be used as plaster for your house. right uh, the cow can be used as a deweeding mechanism because it leads the weeds that are mm. growing around your uh, farm okay so it is a 
critical element which the moment one cow was killed or stolen or something away from them yeah and before this the police used to do nothing the police were completely in cahoots with cow smugglers because the cow smugglers used to grease their palms mm. today that no longer happens though there is a, a, a sort of a, a reaction to that uh, uh, 30 40 years of police silence which is now your cow vigilante yeah and by the way those cow vigilantes aren't wrong do you remember many of the families that have gotten lynched and things like that they found mix of buff and beef at the house mm. Mm, so it wasn't just buff right it was beef as well so there's clearly somewhere there is a, a, a smoke out there do innocent people end up getting caught up yes should they be killed no but why are they getting killed because of the failure of the state yeah in pakistan again why are they getting killed it's a failure of the state so the complicity of the state right but in pakistan <clears throat> we are not talking about criminal networks or uh, uh, poverty and vulnerability mm. we're talking about pure frauds and uh, uh, criminals avoiding exposure trying to settle uh, not pay back old debts and things like that because you remember in europe for example in the 7th 11th century a uh, christians weren't allowed to uh, uh, do usury which is lend and charge interest yeah the jews did it and when somebody didn't want to pay their interest they used to accuse the jewish money lender of uh, killing and raping and drinking the blood of uh, a christian martyr child which yeah. is called the blood libel exact same thing exact same time period if you transpose the time period that's what you're seeing here indian so called cow lynching is very different but remember it was rupa subramania who busted that entire narrative about church attacks in indian swaraj magazine do you remember mm. that hmm kuch church attacks was the open magazine right was it open magazine or oh, swaraj okay swaraj uh us time ye church leaders kya chilla rahe the yeah ab jaake secularism karo i have zero sympathy for pakistani christians i also want to point out that you know lahore was a 50-50 city the uh, crucial vote in determining it went to pakistan came from the christian community where all mm. the pastors in punjab had decided that they wanted pakistan yeah okay so especially in faisalabad can you see my tears right care factor 0 great indian invention 732 ad 0 care factor 0 that that's what i'm saying like i'm not saying that i don't feel bad for the victims today for what their forefathers did but you know that is a choice that they I'm made in and... the bible i'm quoting the bible as ye so so ye shall reap hmm thy yeah, forefathers i don't believe in these series i well, like they believe in it this is the bible this is their own well, teachings they need i, I don't care them. about what they believe all i care about is the hindus and the sikhs and the atheists <clears throat> living in pakistan and the only feasible way for them to come over here is the caa and yeah. the caa the only feasible way a caa will uphold uh, the legal test in india is when it is not discriminatory in nature and that's just the way it is no that part like, that part i do agree with that part i do agree with like th- that is the only way to get ca passed as well and that makes sense but no um, it is not you and don't think so and this is why you cannot allow christians and sikhs from pakistan to come here why not sikhs sikhs in pakistan are completely complicit with the pakistan state remember that was the mm. entire kashmir strategy Mm. this is why sikh villages chhatti singh pura massacre was a aberration the entire strategy was to maintain a two fold uh, 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 insurgency against india where the sikhs would collaborate with uh, pakistanis yeah so sikhs from afghanistan yes sikhs from any other country absolutely yes mm. but not canada not the uk not and definitely not pakistan <laughs> canada se kyun aayenge india mein <laughs> <laughs> अगर आना चाहते भी हैं तो इस आई थिंक इस द पॉइंट दैट यू मेकिंग पिलग्रिमेज करने तो आएंगे ही ना yeah. तो पिलग्रिमेज करने तो वो वैसे भी तू रोक नहीं सकता उनको आने से पिलग्रिमेज नहीं रोक सकते नहीं रोक सकते अरे जगमीत सिंह थोड़ी आ सकता है पिलग्रिमेज करने के लिए पिलग्रिमेज करने भी नहीं आ सकता है बहुत तो जगमीत सिंह वाला हालत करो ना सबकी जो भी पिलग्रिमेज करने के लिए आना चाहते हैं जो वहां पे खालिस्तान के लिए वोट करते हैं या एनडीए को मार देंगे वाला करते हैं बकवास खत्म करो 
वहीं पर रहो फिर खालिस्तान बनाओ ब्रिटिश कोलम्बिया में मौज करके हाँ इतना खूबसूरत शहर है सरी मौज करो वहाँ पे यार क्या टेंशन है हाईएस्ट क्राइम रेट कनाडा में इस समय सरी में सरी में सीरियसली इन्होंने ना सालों ने एक तो ये लेफ्ट विंग पॉलिटिशियंस हैव जेन्युइनली रूइंड प्रोबेबली द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल पार्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका व्हिच इज द कैस्केड्स माउंटेंस ओरेगन नॉर्दर्न कैलिफोर्निया ओरेगन वाशिंगटन एंड ब्रिटिश कोलंबिया सच अ ब्यूटीफुल पार्ट प्रोबेबली द प्रीटीएस्ट पार्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका एंड सारे साले लेफ्ट विंग चूतिया भरे हुए वहां पे वेल व्हाट डू आई डू आई आई कांट कुछ नहीं कर सकते यार जस्ट गो एंड लमेंट <laughs> That's what I did when I went to Seattle. I went and lamented, and I, then came back home. <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck about it. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's just that it's such a beautiful part of the. Part so Nambio, uh, Nambio has a great list of uh, criminal activity in North America. So I'll show it to you. North America mm-hmm. ki list hai, but we can decipher the data for uh, crime index by city 2030, 23 mid year. <laughs> Baltimore, of course. So, sir, look for Canada. Detroit. Like Canada. Yeah, like number one Canada. My name. What is it? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh shit, dude. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. After that, Lethbridge. After that, Kelowna. Red Deer. AB. What is what state is AB? Alberta. 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 Okay. Alberta. Uh, Kelowna. Red Deer. Then Sudbury. Oshawa. Winnipeg. तू नोट कर रहा है हैमिल्टन ब्रैम्पटन ब्रैम्पटन लंदन रोज एक मैं मजाक भी नहीं कर रहा हूँ रोज एक गाड़ी चोरी होती है ब्रैम्पटन में ब्रैम्पटन में रोज क्या बात है एक गाड़ी रोज चोरी होती है तू दिस ट्रिप इट फॉर पार्ट्स और समथिंग अरे क्या बताऊँ आई नो समवन हु बोट अ कार लाइक लिटरल Seriously, um, one thing I wanted to ask before we move on to the meme review is: uh, w- Did you guys see the whole uh, news click in China Neville Roy Singham Singh? Did you see that whole fiasco? Yar, mere ko to hai na hi news portal nahi malum tha. Until unless ye kutta kamina Abhijit, he sent me some tatti article of news click. I was so irritated. I was abusing him on WhatsApp for sending me that article. Yeah, I did not know news click existed. My life was so good. Until Abhijit sent me that link. Yeah. Actually, you know, I didn't know News Click existed. I've only met Prabir Pujkas at some event, right. and Parajay Goa Thakurta uh, somewhere else from his Twitter interactions, I think. Right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, dono aise chaman chutiye maine zindagi mein nahi dekhi. You know, I think the left is secretly trying to help us. By pushing up people like Prabir Pur Kaista and Paranjoy Guha. But isn't Kaistan. one of the co-founders of the bloody thing Gautam Navlakha, the Bhima Koregao inciting guy? I think that's I one. Of, he's one of the co-founders of the of News Click, na? It could possibly be, but what we are discussing right now is the mental faculties of these two and the <laughs> argumentation capacity of these two. Okay, <laughs> they are genuinely the most stupid people you will ever come across. Right. He can't have a logical argument ever. Okay, they are basically byproducts of nepotism, mm. and this is the greatest advantage that the BJP has. Is that the left wing ecosystem has essentially engaged in intellectual inbreeding. Mm. So what freak shows, what deranged, demented. Uh, mentally incapacitated freak shows that are produced by biological inbreeding. <laughs> you have the mental equivalent of that produced by the Congress and the left's intellectual inbreeding. Mm. Okay, so this is a classic case of inbreeding-driven uh, 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 <laughs> mental and uh, uh, physical sterilization. Yeah, uh, manifesting itself, and you know, best of luck to the Congress. This is what happens. ecosystem yeah. bahoge to aise hi banega all i know is i had to read that shit article you sent me in that fucking portal i was so irritated with that article i was like that is so bad <laughs> even from a serious rn invasion perspective that article was so bad oh my god i was so yeah. frustrated 
Well, and another problem with this is also because this the same guy who was accused of, you know, uh, funding news click, who was accused of getting money from China. This is the same guy, this Singham fellow, who's the, I think he f- created or co-created this Pari initiative, right? Which is People's Archive of Rural India or something like that. Which is, I think, one of the most in-depth uh, archive that's collecting information about every single tribe, community, all across India. And the amount of information that they're collecting is being funneled to this guy and going, you know, goodness knows where. I don't know how much the government is involved with this initiative or what it is, but it just gives you an idea of, you know, the the scale of misinformation and danger that we might be facing of as well, because the way misinformation has been used to flare up tensions, whether it's Mewat, whether it's CA, whether it's farmers' protests, hijab, jobio, you know, and and then you have uh, initiatives like Pari. Think about the number of fault lines that an organization like this can potentially trigger or can potentially exploit. But the, see, that is what leftists are famous at doing. You remember Lenin's famous dictum was that every idea is worth a thousand pages of theory. What the left does, uh, what the right wing will do is, if they get 5 lakh mila, they will immediately go to Bhajan Kirtan lessons for children. The next thing that they do is, if they get 5 crores, they go set up one temple. And then they will do Bhajan Kirtan lessons. Karenge. When a Christian gets 5 lakhs, he sets up a roadside school to catch him young. When a Christian yeah. gets five crores, he sets up a school so that those roadside classes can move inwards and many more can be caught young. What a leftist does when he gets five lakhs is go is go on a primary research trip and concoct data. Right. Okay. There is always a leftist will alta- always maintain the real data which is passed on orally. Uh, well, the data is the same. The interpretation, the real interpretation of data which is passed on orally, the ideological interpretation of data which is uh, passed on publicly. And then when they get five crores, they set up universities and institutions so that this can be replicated. So from Bhajan Kirtan and Temple, which is what idiots invest in, mm. these fellows invest in catching them young. Yeah. Not through bhajan kirtan, but through life skills that they will use a, a resource that is in short supply. Uh, th- this is what you have. You tell me one right-wing institution that does serious research or serious journalism. I mean, nothing to the level of Pari, right? Who Who does the actual training and data gathering? Nobody. Mm. Tell me one mm. institution on the right that does it. Magar right wing to bolta hai, training and data gathering is a Western construct by, <laughs> by connection. Western construct is Christian construct uh, See, because data, it is modern. Data is colonial. <laughs> yes. De- dataizing society is decolonizing society. Yeah, data. De- <laughs> data is. Uh, it's a Western construct. Yeah. At the same time, our ancestors invented everything. Yes. Our ancestors in- invented Wi Fi. Nuclear technology, the Apple iPhone, everything. But in sab ko use karna bhi, you know, is decolonization. But yeah, chalo mimi karte hain. Isme Sunny Deol ji ka maine ek mimi dala hai that I want us all to watch. Uh-huh. I want everybody to go watch Gather Two. Make it a super hit. Oh, to already super hit ho gayi. Super hit ho rakhi hai. Double triple super. My lawyer, my lawyer Nikhil got arrested because he punched up somebody. <laughs> <at> <laughs> Yeah, it's true. <laughs> 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 My lawyer punched a guy in a movie theater. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. What? Let me show you this. Nikhil Mehra lawyer. Let me show you his photo. So I want to show you his photo. And uh, <sighs> this is him. Okay. I'm going to show you a large image of him. And then you uh, uh, decide. Hmm. Um, you decide. Uh, eight second. 
तो ये इसका फोटो है अब मैं ये शेयर करता हूँ ठीक है प्रेजेंट शेयर स्क्रीन ओके नाउ कीप दिस एट द बैक ऑफ योर माइंड ओके दिस इज द गाय दिस इज द गाय ठीक है दिस इज अभिजीत लॉयर अब नाउ प्ले द वीडियो ऑन माय दिस थिंग मोस्टली वालों किसमें ऑन व्हाट थिंग तो बोसडी क्या तेरा वो ला ना उधर ये जगह तब तो ट्विटर का मैं अपने का ट्वीट अच्छा रुक जा मैं करता हूं कर 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 मैं करता हूं छोड़ दे तू दुखी कर रहा है बहन तेरे से नहीं 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 Uh, this is not uh, Nikhil, I, uh, I have seen this. मेरे पास निखिल की भी माँ बहन एक हो रही है दो अब डिसमार हो जाएगा ये आप भी लॉयर दोपहर में जाके मूवी थिएटर में लड़ाई कर रहे मूवी ऐसी बनाओ के गदर ही मच बहुत अच्छे बेचारा निखिल अच्छा गदर के ऊपर एक बड़ा ही ये बेस्ट मीम था ये मैं बहुत अच्छा था इसको देख के आए बहुत अच्छा दिस इज पाकिस्तानी रिएक्शन टू गदर गदर टू बिफोर यू प्ले दिस बिफोर यू प्ले दिस स्टिकिंग ऑन द सेम टॉपिक सो बंडल हेड इज रिटन अभिजीत रॉयल लुक्स लाइक एन अनकैनी लव चाइल्ड ऑफ अभिजीत डू यू नो हु मीटिंग Who milked my jailing to the maximum? Where Nikhil Mehra and this uh, uh, fellow Mihir Sharma. Uh-huh. Mihir Sharma went on going to Khan Market, and people would say, "Oh, you're that guy who was in jail in Odisha," and they would offer him free food. He has <laughs> entire forty-three days. I was in jail. He's gotten at least ten bloody lunches. Bloody sala, uh, uh, Mihir Sharma. Sab Twitter pe jaake Mihir Sharma ko uh, roll karo. Mere naam pe usne kam se kam dus. मील खाए हैं खान मार्केट में अच्छे अच्छे रेस्टोरेंट में दूसरा निखिल निखिल वाज इवन वर्स बिकॉज़ व्हेन ही यूज्ड टू कम होम टू पिक अप माय स्टफ टू ब्रिंग इट टू मी इन द जेल माय नेबर्स वेर लाइक ओ बेटा यू हैव रिटर्न एंड दिस एंड दैट एंड दे वर इंसिस्टिंग दैट ही वाज मी एंड दैट ही कम टू देयर हाउस एंड ईट टिल हिज वाइफ कावेरी हैड टू कम एंड से दिस इज माय हस्बैंड एट लीस्ट आई नो माय हस्बैंड नो मेरा पति है ये मेरा पति है। Oh my God! कावेरी दुखी हो गई। दुख की बात है। Highly condemnable. Yes, I condemn this. I condemn this. Yes. Okay. चलो इसका ये best video है। इसको सुनो। हाँ, माशाल्लाह, माशाल्लाह। अब क्या करें? Fourteen August का क्या होगा? आप Sunny Level ने हम सबको मारा है। आप कह रहे हैं माशाल्लाह। नहीं माशाल्लाह तो मैंने इनकी बात से कहा था सनी देवल को भी तो मारना चाहिए लेकिन अब किस में हिम्मत होगी बताओ तुम्हें हिम्मत है तो खैर इसको बुलाओ सनी देवल को पानी के गहले उठवाओ दूध की लाइनों में लगवाओ दो सौ रूपए किलो आटा दिलवाओ इसको चीनी डेढ़ सौ रूपए किलो दिलवाओ ठीक है ना सारा दिलवाओ और सबके हाथों में बाजे तो मार जाएंगे आईफोन अब भाई आई फोन लगी है अरे क्या थोड़े तो 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 बच्चा बच्चा इनको तो फिल्मों के पैसे मिलने बिला वजह का एड कर रहे हैं हम लोग आसानी से ये आ भी गया किसी को पता भी नहीं चला क्या ये तो हुकूमत को सोचना चाहिए ना ये कैसे आया कैसे कैसे आया ये तो लाई होगी ना और को, कौन लाएगा हम तुम थोड़ी ला सकते हैं आपको लग रहा है कि लेकर आई है सनी देवल और क्या और कौन लाएगा एक मत आगे पहले गाड़ी दबा कर कर दे कर दे कर ले दबा कर ले हमारे दबा कर तू गाड़िया दबा कर 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 तू गाड़िया दबा कर इसको बुला लो 
इसको पाकिस्तान बुला लो अब बारह लाख साढ़े बारह लाख यहाँ से जो है ना छोड़ के भाग गए पाकिस्तान तू पाकिस्तान आएगा तू पाकिस्तान आ तेरे से पानी के गेलन उठवाएंगे हम ये बड़े भर में भर में उखाड़ते है ना इससे रोजाना उठवाएंगे पानी के गेलन अगर इस वक्त आप यहाँ पे मौजूद होते हाँ। और ये इंडिया से आए चलते हुए हाँ। तो आप क्या करते मेरे पास अगर वेपन वगैरह होता तो मैं इससे डट के मुकाबला करता भाई या तो इसके पास अगर नहीं होता वेपन तो हम अपनी फाइटिंग कर लेते खुद ही सनी देवल के साथ कर ले ये तो भाई ये फिल्मों में एडिटिंग करके दिखा रहे हैं ढाई किलो का ढाई किलो का हाथ है ढाई किलो का हाथ अरे ये तो झूठ बोल रहा है जरा यहाँ आए तो ये याद इसके लिए बहुत पड़ जाएगा ये मेकअप वेकअप जो करके आ रहे हैं ना सिक्स दिखा रहे हैं सब खत्म कर दूंगा इसके में भेज दू एक बार मेकअप बना के चौड़ा कर दिया उसको माई फेवरेट गाय वॉज द हुकूमत को सोचना चाहिए अबे फिल्म है भाई हुकूमत क्या करेगी इसमें हुकूमत ने इसको पाकिस्तान क्यों आने दिया That's my favorite part. इतना सीधा आदमी था वो बट ऑनेस्टली थिंक अबाउट थिंक अबाउट द लास्टिंग लेगेसी ऑफ दिस फिल्म के आई डोंट नो इफ यू गैस हैव नोटिस इन द लास्ट लाइक सो मेनी इयर्स इतने सारे सीक्वल्स बने हैं फिल्मों के यू नो टेन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स लेटर दे मेक सीक्वल्स फॉर दीज फिल्म Almost all of them have flopped, but this film is such that in 2001, it was a super duper hit. Today, it is a super duper hit. Hai. Bloody 22 Aray. years later. Yes, Sunny Paji. The legacy, legacy of this film is incredible, honestly. Sunny Paji, yeah. master yeah. Sunny. Tell me one real ultra nationalist movie that hasn't made it big. Yeah. It kind of shows you that you know in India, th- this isn't made up uh, TV viewing figures and shit like that. There is a mood in India that wants feel good uh, yeah. uh, movies, which make us feel good about ourselves. Yeah, that's it. It's that simple. Yeah, people have been starved for it for a while too. So there's a there's oh. a there's a genuine hunger for it. You know, people lap that shit up. See how successful Uri was. Yes. Yeah, you know, people lap that shit yeah. up. Yeah. Has anyone has any of our viewers actually gone and seen Gadar? I'm going. I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I'm very excited. I'm going tomorrow. Yeah. I can't be bothered going. I'm at. Are come on, yeah. Gadar? How can I? Have? I can't miss Gadar. Gadar was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. A great movie. I was waiting for that movie to get over. Yeah, it was just, Hindi movies just drag. On, it, on. I wonder if anybody has seen it and if they can tell me. Only one spoiler is allowed, which is that hand pump का कोई सीन है या is there a water कोई पानी related सीन है पानी का utensil related चाहे water fountain हो या हैंड पंप हो या और क्या हो सकता है नल हो हो सकता है नल उठा के मार रहे हो लोगों को समथिंग समथिंग वाटर रिलेटेड है कि नहीं आप लोग बताओ जिसने देखी है यस देर इज अंड पंप सीन फैंटेस्टिक बस दैट्स व्हाट आई एम गोइंग गोइंगे ले जा रहा हूँ बेसिकली हाँ पैसा वसूल हाँ यस चलो अभी दूसरे वाला क्या है ये क्या लिखा है Happy Independence Day! How girls celebrate Independence Day? ठीक है भाई क्या हो गया गर्ल्स नहीं कर सकती भारत में जो देश द्रोही है उनकी माँ का भोसला भारत में जो देश द्रोही है उनकी माँ का भोसला भारत में जो देश द्रोही है उनकी माँ का भोसला भारत में जो देश द्रोही है उनकी माँ का भोसला होगा बिहारी लोग ये नेशनलिस्ट सॉन्ग बहुत बढ़िया बनाता है ऐसा नहीं है <laughs> बहुत बढ़िया ग्रेटेस्ट ग्रेटेस्ट बिहारी गाना था चीन माधर चोर माई फेवरेट वन ये तो यार इंडिपेंडेंस डे पे लगाना चाहिए 
का हाउ चाहिए ये ये इंडिपेंडेंस डे पे जो हर स्टेट की फ्लोट होती है ना उसमें बिहार के फ्लोट पे यही गाना बजाना चाहिए जो है उसकी माँ का बोझड़ा बिहार सब ये सब उल्टा सीधा चीज नहीं सहते इंटरनेशनल बोझित माय गॉड ओके नेक्स्ट वाला क्या है अब ऊपर वाला ही बचा सकता है इन्हें डॉक्टर्स इन एवरी बॉलीवुड मूवी आफ्टर टू सेंटेंसेस अब इनको दवा की नहीं दुआ की जरूरत है सब सब आप क्या करते हैं फिर जवाब देख फिर तूने क्या कोर्स किया साले एग्जैक्टली सब आप क्यों है यहां पे घर जाइए फिर आप इधर क्यों बैठे हुए जब दुआ ही कर रही है शर्मा शो रेडिट पे है इस हैंडल का नाम है गोटी कल टी बार हमारे आपके आगे आने के बाद ही नगर पालिका को बुलाओ भोपड़ी वाले गड्ढा बेचे अरे देर बाद में सुरक्षित होगा पहले गड्ढा सुरक्षित कराओ उनकी माँ का चोरे मादा चोरन की भाई 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 अपने बॉस को देख नहीं 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 कमला नहीं है कमला नहीं कमला है क्या नहीं 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 वो नहीं दांत फाड़ फाड़ के हसरी उसके सामने यार हाथ दबे जीती है कम से कम थोड़ा सीरियस पीछे जो सिपाही लोग हैं लोग थोड़ा सीरियस है लेकिन वो लेडी में कोई शर्म नहीं है अभी तो ऐसा होता होगा कि अभी बाइडेन जिधर भी चलता होगा ना एक गिरा एक गिरा ऐसे ही होता होगा इसके बिल्कुल साइड में एक हमेशा सीक्रेट सर्विस का बंदा होना चाहिए ताकि जब भी जब भी चाचा लुड़के हैं तो उनको पकड़ लिया जाए क्या बोले अभी यार सिंपल सी बात अमेरिका, है अमेरिका अमेरिका में सीनियर सिटीजन की लाइफ अच्छी नहीं है हाँ यार रिस्पेक्ट नहीं करते ये क्या है नोटी रागा क्या हो गया देखे नोटी यूरा के बहन के लौड़े नोटी यूरा हरियाणवी क्यों बना दिया मोदी जी का चेंज कर दिया बिल्कुल हो रहा ये किसने डाला ये मीम ये मीम डाला था शाम शर्मा शो पे कॉल मी यश ने ये शबाश कॉल मी यश वेल डन यार नोटी हो रहा के ये तो यूज करना पड़ेगा कहीं पे वीडियो में यूज करना पड़ेगा ये तो नोटी हो रहा के अच्छा ये है हिट विकेट बाय सरकैजम पॉलिटिक्स ओके भाई क्या हिट विकेट है रूमी ने कहा था जो शब्द दिल से आते हैं वो शब्द दिल में जाते हैं है? तो आज मैं दिमाग से नहीं बोलना चाह रहा हूं तू दिमाग से दिमाग से बोलता कब है ये क्यों ऐसे फुल टॉस देता है यार लोगों को <laughs> क्यों इसको बोलने क्यों देते हैं इसका जैसे वो होता है ना की एन पील किसी ने देखा है एक टीवी शो हुआ करता था उस पर ओबामा यूज टू हैव एन एंगर ट्रांसलेटर तो उसी तरह से एक राहुल गांधी ट्रांसलेटर भी रखना चाहिए लोगों को कि इफ राहुल गांधी इज टॉकिंग सम नॉनसेंस उसके बगल में एक बंदा खड़ा है जो उसके यू नो उज प्रोवाइडिंग लाइक नॉर्मल वर्ड इन रिस्पॉन्स टू वट राहुल गांधी सेज वॉट राहुल गांधी इज ट्राइंग टू से इज दिस बेसिकली आई थिंक दैट्स वॉट दे नीड ओके नेक्स्ट वाला है शाम शर्मा शो रेडिट पे कोनार्क सेवन गॉड व्हेन ही मेड कुशल 
भैया तो काला यार ये तो ज्यादा ही काला हो गया सारा कलर कौन सा हो गया ये तो ज्यादा ही काला ये वो पुनीत सुपरस्टार है ना भैया तो काला ये तो अभिजीत से कुशल बना दिया हो गया मिनट में नहीं यार थोड़ा ये सारा कलर कौन सा हो गया यश तक ऑफिशियल ने क्या शेयर किया है खील ठोकर है मतलब क्यों खील ठोकर है भाई इसमें क्या है बियर बाइसेप्स आफ्टर इन्वाइटिंग मोदी जी एंड आस्किंग क्या आपने ये टी देखा है गुड जॉब यार कौन कौन किसने डाला ये ये कैबिनेट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ मीम्स कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर वेल डन यार कैबिनेट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ मीम्स वेल डन मगर मैंने तुम लोगों को एक बहुत अच्छा भेजा था व्हाट्सएप पे पता नहीं तुम लोग ने देखा कि नहीं आई थिंक दिस इज अभिजीत एंड यू फाइटिंग ये तुम लोग ऐसे ही झगड़ते हो अभिजीत और तुम हमेशा ऐसे झगड़ते हो <laughs> बिल्कुल सोफिस्टिकेशन नहीं है तुम्हारे झगड़े में अरे हम लोग तो सोफिस्टिकेटेड तरीके से ही झगड़ते हैं वाटर कलेश बिटवीन नेबर्स आफ्टर द वुमन लिविंग ऑन अपर फ्लोर थ्रू सम वाटर थ्रू बालकनी ये तू और अभिजीत ऐसे ही हरकतें करते हो ये देख ये देख ये देख ये वापस तो पानी में फंस गई है ये जा भी नहीं रहा ऊपर <laughs> बंद करके निकल गया तू ऊपर वाला है शाम ये अभी ऊपर वाला ये अभी जीत ये ये अभी जीत है <laughs> ये अभी जीत है जो नीचे नीली पार्टी लेके नीली पार्टी लेके ऊपर फेंकने की कोशिश कर रहा है बेचारा ग्रेविटी के आगे पानी फेंक रहा है ये <laughs> सैडनेस मेरे दिमाग में ऑनेस्टली अभी भी माँ का पोछड़ा वाला गाना फंसा हुआ है भारत में जो देशद्रोही है सच अ गुड सॉन्ग टू मेक दैट लाइक अ रिंगटोन और समथिंग यहां पे किसी को समझ में भी नहीं आएगा दैट्स अ ग्रेट थिंग अबाउट इट यू नो यहां पे पब्लिकली आई कैन प्ले मां का भोसड़ा किसी को समझ में भी नहीं आएगा इट्स अ ग्रेट थिंग दैट्स अ ग्रेट सॉन्ग पता नहीं वो किसका वो गाना किसका ओरिजिनल है हु मेड दैट सॉन्ग डज एनीवन नो भारत में देशद्रोही मां का भोसड़ा डज एनीवन नो हु मेड दिस सॉन्ग ये ये एक अच्छा है सचिन और तारा सिंह सचिन लप्पू सचिन के नाम से फेमस है तारा सिंह कोई ना अलग नाम से फेमस नहीं है <laughs> सचिन सीमा को लेने नहीं गया सीमा खुद आ गई तारा सिंह सकीना को लेने खुद गया और लेकर आया सचिन ट्रक कार सब चला लेता है पबजी में <laughs> तारा सिंह ट्रक ड्राइवर है और शांत नेचर का है हर छोटी बात पे अच्छा संदीप आचार्य का ओरिजिनल गाना है अच्छा इंटरेस्टिंग ठीक है भाई वो भी सुनना मैं पूरा गाना जाके सुनना पड़ेगा मेरे को अब वो गाना मेरे दिमाग में अटक गया संदीप आचार्य वेल डन संदीप आचार्य शार्ट आउट Uh, okay, let's see what questions we have. 
um desi youtuber says vape is more dangerous than cigarettes okay thank you uh what else is there two questions uh can you guys explain uh what kapil sibal was trying to say in the court about article 370 i was not able to follow his logic is a call to mass looting a store free speech or a call to violence what did kapil sibal say i haven't paid attention to it what did he say about this point kapil sibal was throwing as many arguments so to be very clear chandrachud made it very clear right at the beginning that this was a hail mary kind of a petition you are not going to be able to win this uh, this is going to be closed can and he's made that very clear through his interventions i think all the judges there nobody was sympathetic to this uh, uh, this thing so kapil sibal was throwing as many different arguments as he possibly could in the hope that something would stick okay one of the things he made was that uh, uh, you know this uh, the, the substitution of the legislative assembly the kashmir legislative assembly's consent to amend 370 cannot be assumed to be the central legislative assembly which is to say parliament's uh, ability to amend 370 mm. because there is this thing between what the sadre riyasat and the something else riyasat in the original document which was then assumed by the legislative assembly and the gov- governor which because of president's rule parliament says we are the legislative assembly and therefore we can do it now somewhere in that questioning because chandrachud was pushing back at everything mm. let's be very clear everybody knows where this case is going the petition is going to fail okay mm. somewhere in that through his frustration i think kapil sibal misspoke but he made this argument that this can only be changed through a referendum which raised everybody's hackles mm. Mm. i think well i mean it, it, it was more that i think chandrachud and the other judges basically pushed kapil sibal into making such an extreme argument but mm. in making that argument he's pretty much kapil sibal has pretty much thrown his hands up in the air and said i've lost what i don't understand is why push it push this because it it's quite clear that there's an overwhelming support in the country for the abrogation of article 370 then why push this because isn't this like genuinely terrible optics it is and see that's what worries me because kapil sibal was one of the ones who used to keep complaining that um, rahul gandhi has lost the pulse of the people mm. okay but he himself seems to have lost the pulse because if he thinks anybody in india is going to support the reinstatement of 370 he's quite uh, you know uh, um, taken away from reality number 1 number 2 the problem happens to be he he is in parliament because of the samajwadi party you know he is a mp of the samajwadi party i think rajya sabha ka okay right kapil and sibal. for them it is i think kapil sibal is either uh, who is tmc and who is um, um, sp uh he was elected to the rajya sabha on kiska ye i think it is samajwadi party only huh uh let me just check member of parliament koi batao yaar some of you are better than oh, i am bhai batao uh, is he mem- is he mp from S- sp mp he's yeah people are saying sp mp so for sp this is a very important uh, this thing no because sp always conflates destruction of the country with what muslims want which is what they do not want hmm. so he is this is why akhilesh has reduced himself to being a joke right akhilesh is the rahul gandhi of up people don't realize this but akhilesh's bloopers are as big as rahul's bloopers you remember mulayam singh yadav used to say the most obnoxious things but every time he used to get into par he used to be a very tough minister pata hai hmm so uh, mulayam singh the minister was very different from mulayam singh the politician mm. akhilesh with akhilesh is very different right um 
Yeah, he didn't even like some big Muslim board also come and support the abrogation of Article 370 when it came out. I remember there was some big Muslim body that also so, came and said, "Ki nee nee, ye acha kiya hai." Yeah. So even they are coming and saying, "To aapko kyu itni khush nahi mach rahi hai, Babu Sahab?" All the things, uh, you know, that were uh, done, hmm. uh, uh, Article uh, ye uh, C A N R C, uh, uh, the uh, Nupur Sharma thing. first of all if every muslim thought the way uh, a lot of people on the right think they do mm. is desh mein there would have already been civil war boss let's be clear about that okay number 2 article 370 was one of those things which was a legit bloody cause for so called muslim agitation whatever did you see a single agitation against it in the rest of india yeah no <clears throat> nobody no No, no Muslim body ever bothered to come out and even protest. Maybe mm. Chichora, uh, I don't know. Um, even Ovesi didn't, right? Or did he? I don't remember what Ovesi said. But even Ovesi didn't. It doesn't seem like raise too much of a fuss about it at least now. Nobody did. Nobody did. So it's not even an electoral issue. So I don't know what the hell they're trying to do. But anyway, it is what it is. Yeah, I, I don't get that at all. Um, are we seeing? Chirag Paswan as a new youth leader in Bihar because Nitish Kumar is scared of him. Do we know that Nitish Kumar is scared of him? Depends How do we know that Nitish Kumar is scared no, of him? No, I think uh, caste base ke hisab se itna bada nahi hai. But Chirag is a good leader. He, he, he I hope he does well because he seems to be, you know, seems to be a Chirag's smart. Chirag doing good okay. work. He's smart. He's articulate. Uh, yeah. So I wish Chirag well. Yeah, and it, it's you know. His father was a very smart cookie. So, the father was the smartest one. He always knew where the wind was blowing. <laughs> Arey, yeah, this is the greatest bellwether. <laughs> the greatest bellwether in Indian politics. His father was the greatest cephalogist. वो सबसे पहले चूंग लेते थे किधर जा रही है. योगेंद्र यादव के पिता जी थे वो basically. उनसे अच्छा कोई नहीं जानता था. उनसे अच्छा कोई नहीं जानता. I think I think there's still a ways to go for Chirag to be considered like a you know a genuine player in Bihar, but. he's a bihari he's from bihar is a young guy you know fresh blood fresh blood is always welcome that's something that we need in bihar so i'm i'm, I'm happy to see where he goes from here hopefully hopefully he can do well yeah um <clears throat> kidhar hai why do you guys oppose nrc well uh, i did a complete podcast on ca nrc where nikhil and jessai deepak were there and nikhil made some really good arguments about against the nrc and for the ca you guys can go and watch that discussion the, this is a long time ago just search charvak podcast ca nrc nikhil mehra jesai deepak and you right. get it and but, just for the record i support both nrc and ca but yeah that's what i was going to say that don't you think that some form of nrc at least is is necessary? we don't need it we don't need it we, we, need we already uh, we already have gone past that uh, legislative option ab kahe ka rona pehle jab aadhar aaya tha tab sochte the ab ye aadhar kin kin logon ko mil gaya again this is going to be a, another wasted i am thinking like a conservative i don't like to uh, waste government money on uh, useless activities there are better tools and more effective ways of using my tax paid dollar i i care or uh, rupee whatever you want to call it i mm. care about my tax paid money in india being wasted on such activities i don't want to waste my money on it so instead of nrc what would your recommendation be look there are far more effective tools of uh, culling illegal immigration in india you you can uh, use better border border patrols and stuff like that and uh, in any case what you can do is uh, in india getting the indian citizenship is not easy what you should do is uh, you uh, Uh, as far as subsidies and many other things are concerned you should make sure that they go to rightful indian citizens and yeah. having an aadhar for now where you could plug the loopholes is in india using the aadhar card a lot of these illegal immigrants can try to claim uh, subsidies now mm. those are the plugs that i would like to be seen uh, but not uh, the the idea of nrc it was a disaster it was never going to happen first of all the bjp never said what nrc it was doing nrc was for one state yeah solving a specific problem of that state and it was pushed uh, by gogoi specifically hmm. because he wanted his state to be clean of bengalis and uh, bangladeshis and all of that yeah 
Um, Abhijit, what is your opinion on Trichy cigars? Which is your favorite brand of cigars? I don't like Trichy cigars at all. My dad used to smoke them. I do not like them. They're very harsh. The quality of tobacco has gone down very massively. There's no focus on quality out there. It was something mm. that could have been made very nice, very good. Uh, but the quality has steadily eroded to the point of no return. Mm. There's, there's one. I, have you ever had Rocky Patel cigars? Yeah, they're actually those good. Those are man. decent, right? Yeah. Yeah, Rocky Patels are good. So if you want to try like and, one and of those. And for the record, if people live under a cloud cuckoo land that India has no registry of citizens, nahi hai, every state has its own registry of citizens. Hmm. Just letting you guys know. Because people are so much in this country, they don't know that every state has their registry. Right. कांग्रेस वाले इतनी उंगली कर करके लोगों को लेजिटिमेट बनाएंगे ना तुम मेरे से लिख के ले लेना I don't know if you get this in India but there's a really good cigar company here called Deadwood Cigar Company and my favorite cigar from Deadwood is the Sweet Jane. So if you ever get an if you ever get the chance try the Sweet Jane cigar from Deadwood Cigar Company. Perfection. Um okay, let's see. Let's take one or two more and then we'll peace out of here. Um you uh kidhar hai kushal you said that ca should have included all non muslims by indian standard won't that exacerbate the problem by a proselytizing religion even when they supported partition just trying to understand what did i say supreme court me if a law is made that says no christians no muslims uh are allowed inside india that law by most legal people that i have spoken to said will not stand mm. what happens in that case ke logo ke dimag mein ye basic baatein kyu nahi baithti hain main chahta hu hindus aaye wahan se main ek aisa kanoon banana chahunga jisme hindus aa sake the government can all tumhe kya lagta hai jab koi government ek law banati hai तो गवर्नमेंट नहीं डिसाइड करती कौन आगे आएगा कौन पीछे आएगा लॉ डिजाइन करना और लॉ को इंप्लीमेंट करना दो अलग चीजें होती हैं लॉ की इंप्लीमेंटेशन में क्या अच्छा जब आप बनाते हो एक लॉ इंडिया में सब्सिडी का एक लॉ होता है क्या सब्सिडी की टारगेटिंग नहीं होती है चल मैं तुमको खुला बोल रहा हूँ चेक कर लेना जब घर की स्कीम निकली थी इंदिरा आवास योजना बदल के प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना बनी थी यार मैं इसीलिए कहता हूं कि कभी गलती से गवर्नमेंट में काम कर लिया करो <laughs> आपको क्या लगता है टेक्निकली तो हर आदमी एलिजिबल होता है ना इंदिरा आवास योजना में अगर इफ़ टिक मार्क्स क्या उन सबको घर मिलता है नहीं hmm. मिलता कुछ लोगों को मिलता है कुछ लोगों को नहीं मिलता है कांग्रेस के अंडर कुछ लोगों को मिलता था बीजेपी के अंडर कुछ लोगों को मिलता है मगर कांग्रेस और बीजेपी में एक फर्क है उनका सपोर्ट बेस ऐसी चूतिया डिमांड नहीं करता है कि वो लॉ पास ही नहीं होगा बीजेपी yeah. को लॉ एक ऐसा बनाओ और बाकी बात में जो करना है करो तुम चूती हो तुम बात करते हो दूसरी वाली लॉ नहीं पास होगा चूती हो अक्कल hmm. रखाओ लेट्स टेक दिस लास्ट वन दिस इज फ्रॉम पार्थ चौगले सेइंग व्हाई डिड हिटलर गो फॉर स्टालिनग्राड इंस्टेड ऑफ मॉस्को आई एम गेसिंग दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर अभिजीत हम्म इट्स इन दिस थिंग स्टालिनग्राड इज टू द साउथ इट कंट्रोल्स द एक्सेस टू और द ऑयल फील्ड्स ऑफ द कॉकसस uh what is today azerbaijan and this and that let me show you this on a map there are lots of oil fields in the caspian and this thing area first let me get up google maps maps dot google dot com google map us ha ab main isme stalingrad i'm just going to it's what well, stalingrad is now called volgograd but anyway mm-hmm. stalingrad and directions from moscow Okay, so now let me show you this. Uh. Share karta hu. Present share screen. Okay. Now you look at this. Okay. Mm. Volgograd at that time was the most important city in terms of controlling access to this entire area. 
विच अकाउंटेड फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द यूएसएसआर्स ऑयल प्रोडक्शन एट द टाइम ठीक है द वन थिंग दैट जर्मनी हियर डेस्परेटली नीडेड एट दिस पॉइंट वाज ऑयल नाउ दे हैड टू ऑप्शंस गोइंग फॉर मॉस्को और गोइंग फॉर द ऑयल दे चोज लॉजिस्टिक फर्स्ट एंड दे वेंट बिग मिस्टेक इन माय ओपिनियन बट एनीवे दे दे वेंट फॉर द ऑयल फर्स्ट एंड that's that even moscow was slowed down big mistake because there were lots of there was lots of rear guard action happening in belarus and ukraine and places like that uh, and hitler wanted to finish off the pockets of resistance that had held out in ukraine and belarus and some in uh, western russia right so he paused the assault on moscow in order to clean up the rear and by that time a lot of stuff had happened where uh, the german need for oil was desperate and so they wanted to control these oil fields the city of stalingrad volgograd it was part of the southern salient is part of the what the southern salient southern push. salient what is that southern oh the push southern okay ah, all right well guys as usual thank you very much for joining us great to have you again if you want to follow kushal please go to the charvaka podcast c a r v a k a on youtube go check it out over there uh what do you have next what podcast do you have going coming up next very good question mujhe khud ko nahi malum inko khud ko nahi malum to agar aapko malum karna hai to pehle ja ke follow karo karne wala hu this friday most likely i might end up talking about uh, 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 a thing that has been bugging me for a long time. A lot of people recently, you know, you know, Sudha Murthy ka wo pura sab drama hua tha. That vegetarian uh, thing uh, on vegetarian thing. So I'm going to go into the psychological roots of vegetarianism about vegetarianism and what trigger mechanisms it generates. I'm going to uh, share a lot of scientific research on it. So I might do oh, that that part. Just one quick message. Uh, this is from Hiraman sir. Our JNU ke Hiraman Tiwari sir. Oh yeah, kaise hai wo? हाँ बिल्कुल सही है दिस इज आई ग्रेटली एंजॉय योर शो एंड गिव माय सन अ शाउट आउट सो मुकुंद तिवारी दिस इज अ शाउट आउट टू यू यू हैव अ आई आई होप यू आर आल्सो अ ग्रेट गाय बट आई नो योर डैड्स फैंटास्टिक सो थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग बीस मुकुल तिवारी हाय 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 मुकुल तिवारी शर्म करो मुकुंद तिवारी वापस जाओ वापस जाओ मुकुल गो बैक मुकुल गो बैक मुकुंद रे नॉट मुकुल अच्छा अच्छा मुकुंद बेचारी मुकुल को तो नाम भी गलत बोल दिया बेचारी रैंडम आदमी को गाली दे रहे हैं बैठ के मुकुंद तिवारी बाढ़ में जाओ अच्छा मुकुंद गो बैक है इट्स मुकुंद गो बैक ओके गाइस थैंक्स अगेन एंड यू कैन यू नो व्हाट टू फॉलो अभिजीत ऑन ट्विटर गो फॉलो हिम ऑन ट्विटर प्लीज मुकुल तिवारी इस्तीफा दो फिर से किसी ने मुकुल तिवारी अबे मुकुल किसने मुक नहीं नहीं मुकुल नहीं है मुकुंद है मुकुंद मुकुंद तिवारी कमेंट सेक्शन अलग फॉर्म में आ जाता है बदतमीज लोग हो तुम लोग बदतमीज लोग हैं मैं क्या बोलूं बहुत बदतमीज लोग हैं ये सब यू नो आई कीप टेलिंग हीरा मन सर सर आपका स्टेट बहुत असभ्य स्टेट है उधर पता नहीं क्या क्या मैं इतना सुंदर सा बात करता हूँ मैं नाम देखो इसका में मैं बात करता हूँ पर आपका स्टेट वाले का इसका नाम भी देखो नूनू बटर मसाला ये ये पंजाबी चीप पंजाबी है ये तो नूनू बटर मसाला तिवारी शर्म करो वन शो <laughs> के लिए मांग ही मत अब मेरे को हीरामन सर से बहुत दिस इज अग शो टू आज फॉर शॉर्ट आउट यह बहुत गलत होता है शरीफ लोगों को यहाँ ठीक से ट्रीट नहीं किया जाता सोच समझ के यहाँ पे फेवर मांगना क्योंकि यहाँ पे हम खुद भी अपने आप को पेलते हैं और हम भी पीलते हैं दूसरे भी पीलते सब लोगों को पेला जाता है इधर नुनू बटर मसाला नाराज हो गया बोलता है आई एम नॉट पंजाबी आई एम एस एम इस तो ऐसा घटिया नाम रखा है एस एम इस बटर मसाला काय का रखा तूने बटर मसाला क्यों रखा है तूने चुराया पंजाबियों का बटर मसाला ये 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 ये
हाँ नाम सही करके क्या साले पंजाबी नाम लगता है और फिर आके इधर आता है बेचारे हीरा मन सर इज अ वेरी नाइस मैन आई हैव इंटरेक्टेड विद हिम सम टाइम्स ऑन ट्विटर अच्छे इंसान है प्लीज डोंट टेक इट सीरियसली हम किसी को शार्ट आउट शार्ट आउट बोल के गलती कर दी <laughs> अगले हफ्ते फिर मुकुंद के मीम शुरू हो जाएंगे इधर देखना आप <laughs> अगले हफ्ते एटलीस्ट एक मुकुंद पे मीम आना चाहिए एटलीस्ट वन क्या आपको 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 वॉच अ प्रोग्राम अगेन या क्या आपको, क्या आपको अपनी ठुकवानी है तो हाँ, प्लीज तो अपने प्लीज, आप को शार्ट आउट दिलवाइए इधर दिलवाइए इस पॉडकास्ट पे इफ अगर आपको आपकी ठुकवानी है तो प्लीज आज को शार्ट आउट ऑन द शाम शर्मा जो पॉडकास्ट एंड वील है We'll happily do it for you. Yeah, we'll happily do it for you. Uh, okay, we'll see you next week. Till then, Kaliya, Tata, bye bye, and uh, Jai Shri Ram. Jai Shri Ram.